Hello everybody and welcome back to another one of those videos where I talk about updates on Dwarf Fortress coming from Toady1 and Kit Fox. This one is a special one. We have a performance update on the experimental branch from Putnam. Now there's a post over on Reddit which I will attach in the description of this video and in the pinned top comment. However, you can also just sit around for the next couple seconds while I read it on stream. If you would like to skip the part where I read, skip to here. Alright, you still with us? So SDL2 public test is now up on the experimental beta branch on Steam. A better performance for high-res monitors and more performance settings and better performance overall and music modding. This is all included in this experimental branch. But keep in mind, this branch is experimental, meaning it breaks. So when you set your Steam over to experimental, expect crashes, expect things to break. I myself have had a couple of crashes already uh, upon testing different save files, so just keep that in mind. This is an experimental, and I could not test it thoroughly as I wanted to by its nature. It will break things. Do not trust your saves with it, says Putnam. Updated the game to SDL2, bringing it up to the previous decade. Uh, GPU acceleration and Steam overlay and game capture on your favorite recording and streaming software, etc. Now within is now within reach. Two. You may turn off the filtering by default, automatic, which turns off the filtering at certain zoom levels. This keeps it on f at far zoom integer ones, but you can set it to the nearest neighbor if you want never filtering, or L-A-N-C-Z-O-S if you want always filtering. Three, massive performance improvements from some lowish level object pool technology combined with a few micro-optimizations to various expensive bits of line-of-sight calculations, FPS improvements, and I've measured are about 50% plus 20 frames per second. Four, and even more experimental than the rest of this update, multi-threading option, which multi-threads line-of-sight calculations. Seriously, these are so huge. If you see an issue, try to replicate it without multi-threading on. It is not easy to tell what issues are threading issues. FPS improvements I've measured are about 20% plus minus 10. Various input changes and improvements due to SDL2 update, and some light pathfinding optimizations that probably won't matter much, but every little bit counts. Borderless full screen, in fact, the flickering was so god awful with full screen on Linux that I've disabled it for now. You may now mod the music by adding files using a new format, an example of which can be found here. Now that brings us to the end of the post and we're gonna dive into my testing. I started off with Heatstone, which is one of my current save files. However, I did copy the save file before starting this up. I recorded a minute of footage and the game ran pretty steadily at about 47 frames a second, hovering between 45 and 47. This is on the current default branch. Upon moving to the experimental branch, it hovered slightly higher to around the same frame rates. However, I can't stress this enough. Moving the camera feels so much more smooth, it's actually kind of incredible. Everything from zooming in and out, to panning the camera around, to just shifting up and down. After that, I attempted to turn on the experimental multi-threading on Heatstone, and again, similar frames. However, it occasionally would spike above the frame rate that it's been sitting at. Once again, I can't stress this enough, moving the camera around feels so much smoother, it's actually kind of silly. And upon shifting the camera around a little bit, I actually gained about 10 frames per second. After that, I moved on to testing with Healer Home, the recent charity fortress that me and a bunch of friends ran over the weekend to raise money for Doctors Without Borders. Upon running it in the normal current branch, it was running at about uh, 23 to 26 frames per second. Uh, upon moving the camera around, it would sit at about 25. When I moved over to the experimental branch, I gained about four to five frames per second. And then again, once I moved it over to the multi-threaded line of sight code edition, I gained another five, six frames per second. So currently it seems kind of mixed. However, I can't stress this enough. Simply moving the camera feels so much more smooth now. But as I said previously with all the caveats of this, if you're going to test out this branch, be very careful with your saves, back things up, and expect crashes. I got a crash almost every single time I saved and quit, and every single time I quit without saving. Uh, Putnam is aware of this, I've passed the saves on to her, so hopefully it will get sorted. Uh, editor's note, it seems like she already found the problem, so hopefully it'll be fixed soon. 
Are you going to test this branch out? Are you getting any crashes? Have you had any luck? Did it brick your save? Let me know down in the comments section, especially if you're getting any kind of frame rate improvements or if you're getting any noticeable usability increases for like mouse and speed and all that, especially if you're on a high uh, or uh, on a higher resolution monitor, because I know that a lot of the major frame rate issues were for people on 4K monitors. I'm sitting on a 1920 by 1080 monitor. It's a very small monitor. Just it's large, but it's very low in uh, resolution. So I'm curious to know, are you getting any, any improvements? Are you using a 4K monitor? Let me know. I'd love to hear it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, check out the YouTube channel. I got a huge playlist of stuff about Dwarf Fortress, including interviews with development team. And of course, if you would like to support me directly, you can do that via Patreon. You can do that via Super Thanks down in the comments section or by jumping over to my Twitch channel and simply saying hello. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.